Hi, Steve Brooks, the pop-up expert here. I've popped up today at Jessup's Auto Security and we're gonna be talking about work van security. In the UK, a work van gets broken into every 23 minutes. And I'm pretty sure the same happens here in the US. So Jim's company is basically an upfitter. So what that means is that they fit after, equi after sales equipment, things like auto alarms, LEDs, security locks. And today we're gonna to be talking about the great product, the Thunderbolt lock. So Jim, thanks for having me along today. Great to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So thanks for coming by. Tell me about this Thunderbolt lock because I understand it's really different from like the slick lock or, or you call it, a, is it a puck lock you guys call this? It's a puck lock. It's right. yeah, an external mounted uh, lock assembly uh, that, uh, that uses the factory uh, latch bolts to mount uh, strike plates where the uh, puck lock will slip over and fit onto that, securing the back doors. Um, the, uh, with having an existing lock uh, that's exposed uh, provides a target. Um, it pretty much lets somebody know that there uh, is equipment that will of value in this, um, and it, it will give someone uh, the ability to uh, access this vehicle uh, through this lock assembly itself uh, by using a standard sawzall um, to be able to come back behind this puck lock itself and cut down through that plate will allow this to come right off in your hand. So, okay. so, so basically a criminal can, can come along, this flags the fact you've got something in the van worth nicking, as we say. Correct. And you can get one of those, because now all tools are kind of battery driven, so you don't you know, have to worry about that. Portable. Come along here, and you can just go cut that off. For the most part, once you punch out the lock cylinder okay. itself, this is gonna be exposed, you're in, and you have access to all the uh, the uh, uh, products on the inside of this van. Show me how, how, you, how you get in with, in with this slick lock, because it looks really complicated to me, and, and it's gonna be like frustrating. If you've got tools in your hand, you just have to put that down. So, what's the process? You will find also, um, in the cold weather, the elements will play a part, and these locks can freeze. So, once removed, the lock assembly itself, you got it in your hand, you'll go to the vehicle and find yourself with somewhere to put this. Most of the time I find people put them down either on the bumper, forget about it, they put it to the inside. Put it in the van and then end up locking it in the van. Yes. Wow. You'll access the tools that you need and then you're, you're, you have an extra step to go to put the lock back on the vehicle as opposed to the lock assemblies that we use here at the deadbolt pins directly into the mating door. So once activated, this deadbolt runs out about one inch. It's, it's deactivated by the unlock. So every time you lock or unlock the doors of the vehicle, this lock is gonna be activated. Uh, when you have the slick lock plates, you notice here how easy this could be cut. So even with the lock in place, you can sneak behind and you find that you'd be able to drop right past here and cut that off. And once that comes off, everything's done. With, with modern day saw blades, that's gonna go through that like a knife through butter. 30 seconds or less, you'll have that off and in your hand. And, and with your deadbolt now in action, how does that actually work in terms of being able to get in and out of the van? Once so the vehicle itself is locked, if they were to get past the, the, uh, the factory lock cylinder, yeah. if we were to unlock this. I can't get in there, guys. That's locked. You have, your, you have the, the deadbolt pins against the, um, uh, the mating surface on the inside, and you only have, again, about 3 16 of an inch that that door will open. If you find that the door is, is, uh, is, is active, you took the pressure off it to be able to get back in, and you access the vehicle. But there's so much ease with that, isn't there? That you haven't got that frustration. And actually, we left the puck lock in there. That's where it belongs. If you find, to be able to walk away from this vehicle and know that it's secure with the push of a button uh, is much easier and much less frustrating than you'd have with that puck lock itself. So I think that uh, uh, the, the target 
of having that lock on the vehicle itself, again, gives someone um, a, a direction on what they can do to get in there. Or again, being this with our lock being invisible inside the door itself, they would have no way to know where to go to try to get beyond that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. The thing I always think about, though, Jim, is like if you're a if you're a contractor, you get your van broken into, you lose a product or a tool. There's a trickle down effect, right, with all the other contractors. So you might have an unhappy customer. Some guy can't complete a job. So van security is like paramount. For, 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 for workers. Absolutely. I've had many customers that have come in uh, that have uh, uh, in the past been broken into, uh, lost all their tools, all the equipment that they'd have for the job itself, product. Um, and it seems more often than not, we're having people that will come in after the fact. They've already been, they've already been broken into and uh, now they're looking to secure for the future. But all that you have to go through to reinvest into the tools, the product itself could put you out of work uh, for uh, a, a longer period of time, days, weeks maybe to try to get, uh, uh, to try to get the inventory that you had sure. in previously. Sure. Plus police reports, uh, insurance companies, deductibles, that along the way, the investment that you make in advance uh, would, would, would surely outweigh um, anything that uh, you would want to deal with in the, in the future. That. Couldn't agree more. Chances are you're watching this video because your work van got broken into. That's the name you want to remember, Thunderbolt. So, and, and what annoys me is you've got guys like contractors out day after day after day, right, working really, really hard. And some schmuck wants to come along and nick their stuff. And, and just like undo They want to take what life. you work for. I yeah. know, it's just yeah. so frustrating. I've so been in this business over 30 years and uh, I've, uh, I've seen it way too often. Uh, and um, uh, with a product like this, it's gonna ensure that you're on the job the next day. And uh, uh, I think there's, a, there's, there's surely a value to it. All the customers that have had this installed uh, um, have been very satisfied with the, uh, there's peace of mind comes with this also. Sure. Uh, knowing that your vehicle is secured, um, I think that there's, uh, there's definitely a value to that. Sure, sure. Now, the, the Thunderbolt is a little bit more expensive than the, the puck lock. We know that, but you've got peace of mind. Put a you've price got, on that. Yeah, less frustration. Yep. Right, and, yep. and you know, when you finish work at the end of the day and you want to go down the pub, as we say, and have a cold beer with your mates, you know all your tools are secure because you've got a Thunderbolt lock on your van. What could be better than that? I would say that, uh, you know, to, uh, again, to, 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 to put a value on the investment of securing your vehicle, um, the, the installation, the way we've designed this product itself uh, in its universal design um, is relatively simplified. You know, once you access the inside door panel itself, you find the location to mount the main lock module itself um, uh, is mounted by two brackets that do come with the kit and we've chosen one of several different options uh, that you could mount this. Uh, one key factor is that the, there's plenty of length in both of the cables for the override and for the deadbolt. You just wanna make sure that those are both relaxed. You don't have any tension on those. Um, two wire connection through the factory lock motor. They run right up through the boot. Um, and we have an extended adjustment for uh, door jams that would, uh, would have a larger gap. Uh, we could actually adjust this back uh, to a quarter inch if necessary for uh, uh, fitting the head tighter um, gap in there. And this all works off the vehicle key. There's no extra keys to, to lose or look for. This is all working off of the, the manufacturer's key that, that came with the van, right? That's correct, that's correct. As long as the vehicle comes with factory keyless entry or power door locks on a vehicle itself, right. uh, then this will wire directly into that. There's not many vehicles, new vehicles now made that don't have the factory keyless entry option. Sure. Um, if they don't have the factory keyless entry option, uh, you can, you can uh, install an aftermarket keyless entry system. Many manufacturers make that relatively simple uh, in its design, and that would allow an aftermarket remote control, again, to control these door locks itself. Now, I know you're, you're in this industry, Jim, and you're gonna, you know, you fit these all day long, but if you're a contractor and you can't get into a specialist, is that something that they can fit themselves? Is it, 
Is it simple to do or, or would you recommend always come and see an auto security it specialist to get it done? It would surely depend on the capabilities of the individual itself. Okay. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I think if somebody um, is, is handy, uh, it's relatively straightforward. So it just depends on the individual and, yeah. and, uh, and how uh, qualified they might be to do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think that uh, uh, once somebody looks at the layout itself, some of the videos that we have available to show the installation, I think they'll, uh, they'll find that it's pretty straightforward. So these not only go on the back doors like this, you can put these on sliding doors as well, is that right? That's correct. Also the swing side door or the slide side door, it will apply uh, to either of those applications. Okay. You got yep. one in this van, haven't you? I do. Yes. Let's go and take a look. Yeah. Uh, the side door application. First off, again, the 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 plate. Um, you can see how accessible this is going to be with that sawzall. Just dropping that back over here to cut that off. Yeah. You've, you've defeated any security that they're going to have there. It'll slow somebody down, uh, but but it's easily defeated. As you can see, we have this assembly is mounted inside the door behind this panel itself. Uh, we have an override cable. All of our systems have an override cable um, in case someone is, was to be locked inside uh, the vehicle without a remote control, they'd have the ability to uh, override and, and, uh, and exit. Right. Um, we have this uh, override cable. Normally what we'll do is we'll have an override cable that mounts uh, near the unlock uh, rod itself. But in this case, we wanted to, you have access. If somebody was to be in front, they'd be able to reach in and access the, uh, the override. So we've located lower on the door. Probably something that's not going to be used often, uh, but we would definitely want to have that available. So um, we've located it down on the lower portion of the door. So, so basically, if somebody was to break that window, they, they can't get round and then open the side door to get in. That's another deterrent. That's correct. That's correct. If they could reach through and they could unlock the actual Brilliant. door lock, they're still going to be uh, uh, have to get around the deadbolt, and to access that down below is going to be nearly impossible. Got it. Got it. Um, as you can see, this is this is the uh, the end view. Once this is active, um, the cable that runs up and mounts this itself, it's fully adjustable. Uh, the the the, the deadbolt itself. So if you have a door jam uh, that has more of a gap in it, our deadbolt assembly is adjustable uh, for a tight gap, or a, I should say a tight uh, fit between the doors. Um, you can see on the mating door here where that deadbolt slides into. So once these doors close, that pin's gonna drive right into that and inhibit these doors from opening. So it's absolutely secure. That's, that's incredible. I mean, that's, Again, it, it's, it's deterring people. It's keeping out, keeping out thieves. It's Simplicity. easy to use. Very so, simple. Uh, tell me about the warranty with this, Jim, because I know you've got a, an exceptional warranty. We offer a lifetime guarantee on this product. Um, the, uh, the actuator, which is the drive motor on the inside, uh, we stand behind all the components uh, of this product itself. Okay. Lifetime. Okay. And, and that's a, like you replace it. If it goes wrong, send it back. You, you'll replace it. We want everyone to be completely satisfied, um, which I'm sure they will be. If there's ever a question, a problem, uh, we're going to be there to address that for anybody that needs our help. See, guys, that's peace of mind again, isn't it? Not only is it, is it looking after the security of your van, if it goes wrong, these guys are going to fix it for you as well. That's just incredible. Now, you can buy this product at www thunderboltlocks.com right that's correct so that's it listen you, probably why you've been watching this you, your van's been broken into and that's why we're engaging with you today so go to www.thunderboltlocks.com right and you can get this product jim it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you today thank you so much i enjoyed your this, time it's, listen if you've got a van this is what you need right thunderboltlocks.com go there i'm steve brooks i'm the pop-up expert i'll talk to you again soon